And good day, it is Big Sam's Barbecue again. And today we have got a monkfish tail. Um, got it from Mar and M Seafoods again. My man Ryan hooks me up all the time with beautiful fresh fish. And so all I'm going to do is put a lightly salted, lightly pepper it. It doesn't need too much, just a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. The beauty of this hoodie is, I can use it for my salt and peppers. So I'm going to chuck my monkfish tail on. We'll listen to that sizzle. Obviously it's going to tighten up a little bit, but you know, I don't want to damage the fish, but at the same time I want to keep it. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. It's not going to take much to cook it. It's Really, really tender fish. Lovely fish, to be honest with you. Uh, I would say, along with sea bass, that's probably my favourite fish. And it's hard to hard to cook to a degree. A lot of people uh, wrap it in bacon or put it in a curry or something. But you know, we're just trying it on a barbecue. It might work, it might not. You know, but this is what we're going to go for today, and see if we enjoy it and you enjoy it. And as you can see, typical Scottish weather started raining as we're filming. So. Uh, I'm going to put the asparagus in, bed of asparagus. And then I'll put the monk on top of the asparagus. The monk looks quite well done, it's a lovely bit of fish. Uh, anybody that's never tried monk, I honestly recommend trying it. I like doing the lemons like this. I, I think it, if you're doing uh, fish, try and grill the lemon and it will give you a brilliant char on it. And oh, it looks fantastic, honestly, it does. Yeah, so like I say, if you want to copy it, you know, you know the ingredients, it's not much in it. Um, like, share, subscribe, and once again, thank you for watching my videos.